Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. And I've got some exciting goodies to share with you today from Row Diamonds. Um, they were extremely kind in sending me some items to share with you all. And I'm, I'm rather excited about a few of them. So the first parcel sort of came and I wasn't quite sure what it is was at the time. So I opened it up. Then I did realise what it was, um, so I've not looked any further apart from getting a little bit excited. Um, and then they did send me a bigger canvas as well, which I haven't touched. I realised what this one was and I didn't touch it. So we'll go through what I have sort of seen before we look at the rest. But they've sent quite a few different things. Um, First up, we have this fairy. So this, they've actually even labelled everything for me so that I know what goes with what. But this is a partial in a special drill. Um, the butterfly girl, they call it, which I think is very apt. And we've got quite a few different special diamonds. In fact, let's have a proper look. And this has all come flat. It's all come flat like this, but we have some of the standard sort of rhinestone diamonds in yellow, purple, orange, blue. Then we have some of sort of what I call sort of more the pearly. So they are, they have got an AB coating, but they're sort of not got any facets. So they're just like a half a pearl. We've got the same in blue. So they again don't have any facets, but they have that gorgeous AB coating. Then we've got some bigger ones in orange. And then they're like those little star buttons you used to get on your clothes as a child. I don't know if you did, I did. Um, I like those in white. And then we've got those in orange as well. Oh, and in blue. Though my card, you only ever seem to have the white. Don't know if anybody else is the same. But yes, used to used to remember those cardies fondly. So they're the diamonds to go with that one. Um, I will pop them away properly later, but who needs that rustling? Um, so we've got a gorgeous special one there, and then there is a toolkit as well to go with that. So that's a butterfly toolkit. It's got your standard boat, wax, and pen. I'll pop those over with the diamonds so that we can still see the goodies and um, now this is this is rather exciting this is a mini mystery kit love a good mystery kit um so mini mystery 20 by 20 special drills exciting um and if we peel it back so this actually has a couple of crystals and a couple of ab's Try not to peel it back too much. It is in a round. I can't tell what that is. Maybe it's a star. Maybe. Looks like it potentially could be. Um, it's got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen colours. And it's a 20 by 20. As I say, it is in round. The symbols are really, really clear. The symbols, a lot of them are numb. Oh, there's a smiley face. Let's see if I can get it so you can see that. Where's the best bit of the smiley face? I like the smiley face. Okay, is that going to fit? Can you see it? Can you see the smiley face? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we have a smiley face symbol. It's about time somebody did a smiley face symbol. Uh, we've got the likes of a stop sign, we've got numbers. Oh, never saw the smiley face before. 3790 is a smiley face. And then we do have the toolkit, which is classed as child safe. So these aren't the tweezers that will knock you senseless um, or stab you like nobody's business. We have got a little heart of wax. Uh, and then we've got your standard boat and your standard pen and then to have a look at the colours so this is the mystery it's 
and look at the colours we've got going on. We do have 310. So we do have quite a bit of 310. We have some nice yellowy gold crystals. I'm trying to make sure the light sort of picks them up. We have pink crystals. These are all clearly numbered with the symbols on as well. You could work just straight from the bags. In fact, that might be something that I do. Um, then we've got one called Midnight. So it's like it's a proper, proper multicoloured AB, that one. It's like got a purple tint until you tilt it and then you're like, mm, maybe not. Oh, we've got the same in a green. They're really nice. Um, we've got more of a coppery brown. It's, it's got a slightly different coating to what you normally see in rhinestones. These are more like normal rhinestones, these orange ones, but these aren't as see-through. It's like the coating makes them opaque. I like it. Um, oh, I'm losing them. So we've got some pink. We've got some more pink. Which one's the smiley face? I don't think I've hit the smiley face yet. Um, we've got more pink there, but then we've got pink ABs. So this has actually got 3608, a DMC number, as an AB. Then we have... Oh, I hadn't hit the smiley face yet. It's coming up. Um, we've got some purple ABs. And then this is the smiley face. It's like a brown colour. But I just like the fact it's a smiley face. Then we have what looks, oh, 3799 in crystals. So very, very dark brown. I like the fact they've got DMC numbers. Um, and then an 820 in crystal. Oh, that might bring a little bit of a spanner in the works to how I save, how I save my uh, special diamonds. If, if Row Diamonds treats me to, to colour names. Oh. Okay, I'll think that one through later. Um, this is, this, oh, 718, I'm not sure, I don't think this is for this. These are a circle shape, but they do fit in a square canvas. So I think that's just showing that there is some sort of funky shading in those so they're round but they fit in a square in square size so they're smaller than your normal round diamonds that fit on round canvases and they will fit in a square i like those i like the fact they've got dmc numbers and i'm rather excited to do another mystery painting from a different company i think that will be fun so I'm going to put those diamonds over the way with the other stuff. Then we have, ooh, we have what looks like a bag of goodies. A few different bits in here. So we've got a diamond painting pen, a slightly thicker than your normal standard pen. So, and pretty colours. We've got some nice baggies. These are nice and thick bags. They do have lines on as well for you to be able to write on them if you need to. Good quality bags. We have, is that a waxy pencil? No, but it's a white pencil. Is it gonna let draw on that? We'll draw on the canvas. I'll have to look that up. We've got a white pencil. And then we have a little pot of wax with a cute little mermaid. Uh, and that contains a circle of wax ready to use. Wax pots are always good. I do like the fact that the wax doesn't dry out in those. So thank you for those goodies. And then, see, it continues. And I'm really liking these. These are dolphin key rings. I used to be obsessed with dolphins as a teenager. I still like them, it's just the obsession has calmed down. Um, but I'm going to enjoy doing these. Oh, we get five. So we've got five different dolphins. 
Let me see if I can zoom you in without having to lift them all up again, scoop them down. Um, it looks like we have quite a mixture of different shapes and stuff going on across the dolphins. Oh, look at those colours, they're gorgeous. Between my favourite colour being like a turquoisey blue and a sort of baby pink, plushy type pink. But to show you the colours in these, we've got sort of a lighter brownish colour. That looks like it goes round the outside of a couple of these. We've got silver and then we've got the most gorgeous blues known to man. So we've got a couple of different turquoise. Are they the same one? Yeah, so they're the same turquoise. We've then got some really nice darker, deeper blue. We've got some gorgeous half pearls in a beautiful blue. Some bigger rhinestones. We've got a little bit of black because, you know, the dolphins need to be able to see. And then we have some more gorgeous turquoise and sort of silver with a rainbow effect. I'm going to do those as a little evening project one day. I do like um, doing off the canvas items, as I call them, for a little bit of variety. And then, let me zoom you back out, because not only did they send me all those amazing items, I also got a bigger box. Now, I think where I need to open it is under here. That's also where my address is. So, we'll open it this way. Oh, wow. Look at how this is packed. Oh, we've got an inventory sheet. Looking good. Okay, box is out of the way. Let's put that knife away before I stab myself. Let's have a look how this is packed up. Okay, so we do have a little bit of tape there. And it looks as though the diamonds are wrapped around the canvas. Which is a very good idea because the diamonds can take a little bit more of a bashing than the canvas. And look at, look at how pretty they are when they're all laid out. How many colours? Whoa, 38 colours are in this one. Let's see if I can pull out the extra bits. I don't want to mess it up too much, but that's the image. I will show you the canvas, of course. We've got a total of 38 colours. We've got quite simple symbols, which is good. So we've got one to eight. Then we've got the alphabet, but we're missing out the likes of B because it's similar to eight, which is good. We've missed out nine because it's similar to six. So they have really thought about what symbols are going in there. There's no smiley face on this one, but I've never had a smiley face before, so I'm happy to have it on the mystery one. It's going it's to make me smile every time I see it. Oh, we've got a toolkit. So this is definitely, you know, on the posher end of toolkits. So we've got a pink pen. We've got a three-placer. We've got a straightener for a nine or a 12. So you get a straightener with it. We've got a foam topper for your pen. We also have a six-placer. In there as well. So you've got a three placer, a six placer, a straightener that's a nine or a twelve. We've got some baggies, we've got some of your basic tweezers and then we've got some wax as well. So all you could need in there and look at those amazing colours. I'm not going to take them all out. I will to check it off but <coughs> excuse me. We've got a lot of 939, but we don't have any 310 in this painting. I've just had to have a look. As soon as you see a dark colour, it's like, hang on, do we have any 310 or not? So they're really nicely packaged. Let's pop those down there and let's have a look. Oh, the symbol chart down the side is huge. Look at the size of that. That is really, really clear goes all the way down to 
38. 38 colours and this is a 50 by 50. Whoa. Okay. Uh, we do have what looks like some puckers in the canvas though. That's unfortunate. Can you see though? I'm not sure if you can even see them. There you go, you can there. So can you see these puckers? They're not as easy to get out. Oh, I do like the fact that they have, this is plastic. Well, I like the fact that they have a roller on it and it's actually taped to it. It's taped to the canvas, which if you did want to keep it attached would be good when working on a big one. Um, but this is actually plastic. That is really tough. It's not foam. Let's see what the actual image looks like. I'm a little worried over the canvas because there is a lot of puckers showing underneath on the back and they're the ones that aren't often as easy to get out. Um, it is a full sheet. I can get hold of it. Symbols are nice though. So after filming um, the unboxing of this Tiger. Um, I did contact Row Diamonds to let them know what the canvas was like on the back um, and they were absolutely amazing and very promptly sent me a replacement canvas. So rather than um, carry on the, the video showing you the other canvas because they fix matters I thought I'd show you this one. Um, to show you the image. So this canvas is perfectly fine on the back. We have no pockers at all, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd continue the video from this point to show you the image. Um, plus my memory card is saved, so it was sort of a, an easy stopping point <laughs> to just sort of slip this in instead because mistakes can happen things can happen with paintings the difference is do they fix it or not in my opinion will the company put things right and in this case they did but look at that tiger that is absolutely a stunning image. It's not quite reached the end yet. I'm trying not to reach the end too much that I lose this whole top cover paper, but look at him. It's like a galaxy, but it's like it's the American flag mixed in as well. I'm not quite sure which one it's supposed to be, but the colours are amazing. There's 38 colours. There's enough blockiness, but enough confetti. When I say that, I mean enough blockiness that when you tip some diamonds into your tray, you're actually going to use a decent amount before you have to put them back. But not too blocky that you're like, I'm sick of this colour. <laughs> Especially when it comes to the likes of the 939. Um, but yeah, look at him. I'm going to have to open it from the other side as well. And just get this top sheet down. This is, this is, the top, this top cover is detailed like the... Writing on it is the same as you, you get on other paintings, but it's not ripping as easy. Normally I'd have ripped it by now. Then again, maybe I still will. Um, oh, there we go. No, look at that from the other side. Isn't he cute? I think he's so sweet. Um, so yeah, I did want to give you that update that they have put things right. Add it onto the same video. Um, say mistakes do happen but as long as companies put it right it's all good in my opinion uh, that's just bubbles on the cover sheet that I'm just pushing out that's nothing to do with the glue underneath that's just from me lifting that up so I do want to say a big thank you to Row Diamonds for sending me these goodies they have actually sent me a couple of other bits, but I will save those for another unboxing um, 
maybe in a week or two. Just to spice things up and they do look rather sparkly and rather exciting. So um, I will show you those soon. But thank you so much to them for sending me um, a sample of these. I'm very looking forward to doing a mystery diamond painting with a smiley face on it. Um, and of course, my dolphin key rings, <laughs> as well as all the rest. But I hope this has been helpful for you. I will pop links, of course, to Row Diamonds down below. Shipping was extremely quick. They are UK based. Um, so if you're not, it may take a bit longer. But shipping for me was extremely quick. And customer service was fantastic. If there's something wrong, they put it right. And what more can we ask for? But thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you all again soon.